Ray Give TV exclusive. Yo, Ping Ray in here, bro. He just popped in. There it go. Somebody must have told him. It's Ray Give TV. Okay, so check this out. Whack 100 reacts to Rick Ross, flame up Drake, and then Whack flames Ross, says he can't take him serious, and he should just stay out of it. What? I'm going to give a shout out to Whack 100, the whole Hunter side spin the block. Let's get to the content. It's Ray Give TV. Spin the block. Ross went out. Hey, so look, when that nigga, um... That nigga Drake was gonna, I mean, French was gonna put a fake Drake, the fake Drake in the video, and Drake sent that nigga to season to six. That don't even make sense, bro. How you gonna tell yeah, that nigga season to six on the bottom of your ass? That's a lie. That's what he did. That's what he said. That's a lie, bro, because I used a fake Kim Kardashian. Kim, Kim tried to send, oh, she couldn't send y'all season to six, even if she tried. a real person, bro. <laughs> That's a real person. You can't cease to desist a human being, bro. He filed the fair. I remember seeing that shit. He said he had filed the lawsuit on that shit. Let me look it up right quick and see if, if I can find it. Bro, you can't cease to just look like somebody. Yeah, he something ain't right about that. Name and shit. That's, the fake Drake was using his name and saying I'm Drake and showing up in uh, venues and shit like that. Yeah, well, not, yeah, that's him showing up at venues and shit like that. You can't do that. But as far as putting the dude in the video, they could have put him in the video. Uh, this from BET in 2022. It say, um the Canadian rapper has filed a lawsuit on an impersonator who goes by fake Drake, whose real name is Izzy Drake, after rising to fame for over a year. Yeah, but that's different. That's different than a cease and desist for a video, though. Yo, Brock. What? Uh, Brock. The Drake diss at me. The Drake diss at uh the other nigga. Nigga name. Oh, is that other, nah, another nigga. Ross. Pusha T. Pusha. Yeah. So the Drake diss at me. The Drake diss at Pusha T. And the Drake diss at. Kendrick, you know, you don't see, you don't, it don't, it's an energy change for me. Like, I don't hear the hit. It's like, like, he did it. He, he really wasn't comfortable in the pocket. He usually comfortable in his pocket. The energy he had at Meek and Pusher and the rest of them was up there. But like this record, he referenced Top Dog two, three times. That's yeah. that ain't like Drake. It's like he was like, I don't want to know if struggling is the wrong word. But he really wasn't comfortable in his pocket. Like, I think it was like he did it because he felt he had to, not because he wanted to. But the energy wasn't there. Yeah, I, 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 it wasn't the, it wasn't the prime Drake that I've heard. But, saying, yeah. but me being a fan, dog, uh, uh, I like I've been listening to the nigga, and I went back. I've listened to even when he used to beef with local Canada battle rap niggas. So he's done this like hip hop shit before. And this is always the pocket he goes into when it's time. Like, he tries to get into that. He's trying to do Kendrick. He's trying to really rap. But, I mean, whew, that's going to be a tough one because Kendrick can rap. You know what I'm saying? No, that's so what this, I told uh, I, I was Yeah. Club. I said, commercially, make it a commercial song that I did song Drake all day long. That grassroots, this mm -hmm. gutter type. I said, all right, I got to lean towards Kendrick. Yeah, you've always said that. I actually agree with that. Uh, Kendrick, I mean, we always, me and Bayern, we talking, we have this, all, this discussion all the time. I think Kendrick is a, a better pure rapper. But you like you always say, Drake is a bigger commercial, better uh, song maker. Yeah, so, yeah. so, but, but why I give Drake a little credit for this is he went to rapping. He didn't get on there singing and he could have played around and just did a hit song. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but, right. but he went on there and he went directly at him. And I like that he addressed the shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, me and you both know what's up. You know what I'm saying? After, well, I didn't know, but until you enlightened the nigga, you know what I'm saying? What's really going on, like with the whole chain snatching and all that shit. But I do respect that the nigga ain't just let the niggas just walk all over him. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga talking about he going to be doing all that. So, I respect that shit. But, uh, yeah, you're yeah, not going to snatch nothing from Drake, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He talking, And he addressed it He dressed it real. Uh, uh, he said, I'm going to have bodyguards with me. 
So he kept that shit, like Whitney. Yeah. He, he kept it, yeah, he kept that shit real. Like he not on here acting gangsta. That's why the Rick Ross bar when he said uh selling cocaine and Louis. I, nobody knows Drake to do that. You can't play that angle against Drake. So I think he can yeah. just he can just exit out of the beef. Uh Kendrick shit, that shit finna be epic though. I heard I want you when you hear it, let me know on, on the back end, because I know you about to hear it first. But I heard it's already there. You know what I'm saying? I heard it's already there. They said four years ago he had some lined up. Four years ago. They said, yeah, they said that they had to talk him down out of out of dropping what he was gonna drop four years ago because they was like politically it was gonna fuck it up. But he was already wanting to go at these niggas. So that's my that's one of my favorite rappers. I have so being my favorite rapper and then Drake being my one of my goats. Is is this? I'm just I'm just watching, bro. I'm just really a fan, bro. I'm excited. But you heard what uh Joe Button said? What? What he say? He said DJ Academics, and I agree with this, bro. And you got to give your boy his flowers, man. He low key, he 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 having a moment right now. He's like our uh, I don't know who is it, Funk Flex back in y'all time or whatever. The nigga that's like that's like dropping the records and everybody mm-hmm. watching. Like and the, it's like like, like he's Lee. He, yeah, K Slay. Like he really like our DJ right now. He really being a DJ for real. Like this ain't no, you know what I'm saying? He really do. always been a social media A and R, bro. Yeah, yeah. He always been that. But I'm saying he breaking records though, like right now, and it's like a moment. You remember how that they like Flex drop a bomb on him whenever they was dissing in New York and shit, and he'll they'll come to Funk Master Flex, put their song out. Like DJ Sam came to him and dropped the record, so they can drop it on his platform because they know everybody watching the live. You on the live, you know what I'm saying? He calling the West Coast, he getting you on that bitch, like talking about this shit, like that shit, this shit live, bro. I ain't, I'm in the same. Like you said, they doing it right, they ain't funny up. Everybody keep trying to say it's some street shit, but I don't think it's nothing street. This is some rap nah, shit. Some you know rap what I'm saying? Yeah, like they talking about this shit can get ugly. I'm like, bro, nah, man. that's some rap shit. Yeah. So which one but is how- the original version? I mean, which one is the real version? Because this nigga, the, the way this shit came out is strategic. I, I just think when you hear it mixed and mastered, that's gonna be the real version. So. The mixed and mastered. Version, I heard, I heard I'll- it on two different beats already. Yeah, mixed and master. Saying, some ain't some versions ain't mixed. It ain't officially on no streaming platform. So like it, it was like a, this was like a creative ass way to test the waters with this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I think that the the track was supposed to be strategic, but then everybody had already knew about it, and uh the industry niggas um had already heard it because you already you seen Rory and Ma. Uh, five days ago, saying drop and give me fifty. So they had already heard this record. So like, I think what it was was everybody had already heard it, and the shit had to just somebody like a lot of niggas had it. So it could have just leaked like all they the way. Man, you remember how critical I was of how 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 crucial his next move had to be? It looked yep. like he voided all of that by quote unquote leaking it. He, it's like it's like because because if because if everything if it, if it sway, it's like it wasn't supposed to come out anyway. Y'all just heard it, but we still got something to feed us. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, like right. they're taking advantage of leaking it on purpose, just in case it right. doesn't go as good. So if it don't go as yeah, because if the conversation you know I mean? way, it ain't official. Like, yeah, you know, like what Shark, leave, like what Shark did with that girl. He ain't said, but he wanted it to come out, so he let somebody else way out of this shit like that. But but what y'all gotta give Drake a little credit on? Nah, he, he had like some five, good balls in that business, especially when he, he told Metro shut your whole ass up. He I smoked that shit. The Metro shut your whole ass up is my fa- that's some Houston shit. Hey, shut your ass up, nigga. That nigga he just hit him with a quick little bow. Whole ass I up, think nigga. he needed help riding that though. But I but I but I am excited to hear Kendrick, bro. I think Drake needed help riding all that stuff. Though. I don't give a. Kobe, I, I, shut your ass up. <laughs> you gotta admit I, I, it. I, I, that just sounded insane, like they bro. weren't really his bars. They, that 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 was like what? You don't that's why it sound, no That's why it sounded so bro. unnatural. It sounded that's so That's early like, right? Drake flow. You're captain. Bro. Bro, hey, that's that's why that bro. shit think, sounded hella regular. Nah, I agree with you, bro. That it wasn't. It's not the Drake. Nah, nah that like, ain't. That ain't, ain't the. Nigga, put on that Meek Mills disc, nigga. Listen yeah. to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, y'all been saying that yeah, too. With, with, with Kendrick, though, like, look like, like, like everybody less like aggressive. Like, I always want to compare it for sure. That, that, that nigga, Kendrick that is aggressive as a motherfucker. You got to come with that aggression if you're going to go ahead, Kendrick. Like, That's like, what like, I'm saying. Yeah, uh, Drake jumped into his pool. 
I'm just nervous for him because me being a fan, like, I, if I'm a manager, I'm telling bro just to keep doing what you always did. Do what you did to push it. I mean, not push the T. Yeah, push the T. Like, Virginia Beach, that song is a singing song. You would have thought Virginia Beach, for, with him being from Virginia, was going to be a full-blown rap disc. But he starts singing on it just to throw everybody off. I thought he was going to try to do that with Kendrick before I start hearing that he really did. But he went, he's taking Kendrick. He's going into it his style, bro. He's fighting the fight that y'all want to see. Hey, Brock, we, so, go away, we go with two He's boxing with Tyson, gotta bro. In, he got to go into his back-to-back bag. If you battling, you got to give everybody that back-to-back. Back-to-back to back came back. second, remember. Remember, so back-to-back was the second disc. You gotta remember yeah, that. that was the, first one, the first one was like a jab. You gotta think boxing, bro. If I if I'm fighting a nigga that's you know, you gotta that can really fight. You gotta you gotta you know. See, Charles Dub was hey, a hey, Richard, hey, was he could have had the really. same writers for that Meek Mill ver verse too. It couldn't he could have had it. You know he goes to his uh his battle rap. Ghost but did he diss Puffy though? Shit, was there a Puffy diss in there that I heard? I don't want to hear nothing about no Ghost Riders right now. Yeah, because yeah. like I said, it didn't sound like. No. Y'all heard the uh, what, what was he saying to Rick Ross when they slowed when they lowered it when they was like he was like you need to be worried about what you said to and he used Rick Ross's voice as a sample but they lowered it I think he said Puff. Yeah, that's what it sounded like he said. Did yeah. it sound like he wanted to say did it because that was gonna yeah, rhyme with did, it. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. did. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. Hey, Drake, hey, Brock, I mean, hey, Brock, we, yeah. that, they had a Pluto disc up in there too? Sound like I heard yeah. a Pluto disc. Yeah, he did. You heard the uh, wicked, wicked, wicked. You heard it. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. And when he yeah, told yeah, that yeah, nigga, yeah. and when he told that nigga, he, he, he claimed it from the six, but he got ran out the yeah. airport. <laughs> oh, you say, he said he got ran out the airport? No, he said he got ran out the six, no future from zone six. Oh, boy, boy, Wack was finna get, boy. That would've uh, been, boy. that could be a I Unk, you would've been conflicted, huh, Unk? I never conflicted my dick. <laughs> the cold part about it is Drake, Drake could actually get on the phone and confirm the story. Because the nigga that paid the debt who was on the phone, well, I cornered him who he doing. He threw the phone, talking about talk to him, talk to him. Mm -hmm. Right? It's right next to Drake. Yeah. That's crazy. Thanks. Right next to Drake. Hey, what? Well, the nigga ran into the thing about that. Chill out. Well, he ran into the thing and he didn't have nowhere to go. Right? The nigga had the phone. He threw the phone. I picked the phone up. Hello? <laughs> Just whack. He said, whack, please, listen. I said, man, the nigga got a daddy old, bro. We've been looking for this. He said, my word, I'm going to pay the debt in the morning. Send me the wire information. I paid it. Let him be. I got business with him. So Drake right next to the man, he confirmed that story. Good guy. Right next to him. And the boy said he got more. I don't think it was all about Kendrick, bro. That's why I be saying everybody focused on the Kendrick part. You got it. It's a little, it's a, it's a hey, nigga went at Nav, nigga went at Future, nigga Metro, hey, that's nigga went at Weekend. He went at everybody. Awesome. That's also a tactic to stay off of the, the main focus, though. Why'd he go? You know Why'd he go at the on, weekend? Stay on What's subject. The, weekend, uh, the, 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 the subliminum is that weekend is all over that uh future project and all that. And then, you know, they've been having their little subliminals. So uh, he's mad because a, a nigga time. working with a nigga? Nah, they've been they having subliminals. They've been having subliminals for a while. Weekend Destiny like, more Future's <laughs> album. Yeah, remember, remember Weekend? Nah, even before that. Remember Weekend said you you made you say you made me make another me and shit like that. He been he been going there, Drake and Drake and him been sending subs. So this is the first time where he actually said Abel's name, which is Weekend's name. You know what I'm saying? Say whack. Who that? Who he was talking about when he said that? Um, the the, the dude that used to run with Chubbs, who is his manager? That nigga manager used to used to be a um, store runner for Chubbs. Or oh, he said wait. He, he said somebody man somebody manager right now he used to be a store runner for Chubbs. He talking about Kendrick manager, but I don't know who that is. Kendrick manager. Oh, who who who, who identifying as Kendrick manager? You talking about I have uh, no idea. Uh, what's the little nigga? Why used to do the videos? I remember hearing a story about this shit, but I can't. Put my finger on it. Like me, Y'all like gotta this. give me a name. Like, that's why I was wondering if no, you was talking like about somebody around me. The president of TD. Uh, oh, Punch? Nah, punch? not Punch. Nah, the other little nigga. Dave Him Free? Ken Dave, yeah. He might Dave be Free. Dave. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about Rick Ross going at Drake. What 
man, that boy was talking, wasn't he? But what do you guys think? When will Kendrick reply? When will he respond? I'm waiting for it. I know y'all are. It's your boy Ray Gibbs. I'm coming down below. Let's get back to it. Hey, Dave, we used to work with, with um with, with OVO. I'll be around Drake. I mean, you never know. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, unless it's somebody else. I know Dave and Kendrick left together. Right. Yeah, they want to start. Yeah, just start that uh, That's song. who he's talking about. That's exactly who he's talking about. It gotta that, be. Who, yeah. Yeah, because he because he made a little reference to that. I I only heard that. It's crazy, man. We talking about this shit, bro. I can break it down, but I only heard it once. Yeah, we got to break. We got we got a bar for bar that bitch. We got to get through. Yeah, we, we gotta, gonna bar for bar that one. I only heard it once. I just I like when I heard it, it just made me excited because I was like, damn, bro, we we back in hip hop time, bro. Finally, these niggas stop acting like, this, and I really get to rapping, bro. Like, I ain't slow. But Rick Ross did not record that in two hours, by the way. We'll make Rick it Ross. Hey, bro. We'll make What's it up? Drake, Drake has to respond to Ross. So where is he going? No, he don't. It? Why not? He he can, bro, definitely don't have to respond to Ross. Ross. You, you definitely don't have to respond, respond to Ross. He got to respond to Ross. You better focus on what's in front of him. He already said. He already gave him his. He gave him his two piece, and you just let him. You let him run around and go crazy for the next three years, and don't say shit to him. Y'all think oh, Drake really? Got him. Dry, uh, hey, does Kendrick got to respond, Wack? Nigga, he, go, he really think he gonna do that? And, and yeah, 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 yeah. He, he definitely. Got he got to respond. I'm glad you said that, Wack. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad he said that. Cause he, he definitely, definitely got to respond for the culture now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I'm telling that. All this shit y'all pumping violence and all that. This ain't what that is. No, this is good shit right here, Wack. This is definitely a good yeah, fucking is, healthy, rap healthy rap battle. This is a rap battle, and I, I fuck with it. But uh, and it's cool, definitely, right? hey, Wack. Do you think that this is um like? Cause you said earlier that Drake should shouldn't even respond yeah. to him. That Drake shouldn't even so Drake responded. Do you think that that's what's turning it up and not that like he's giving the clout now to Kendrick? I mean, he already, it's already up where it's at. You know, uh, Drake gonna wait till Kendrick respond for his shoot again. Yeah, yeah. I think he got another clip ready just so he can go back quick. Whenever he say something, he can bow, put it right out. But will Kendrick even respond if it's not an official drop? Or, you know what I mean? You think like something like this will really like, it's gonna get to him? This was Hell, an official what? drop. He gave it to or who kid, bro? It was yeah. an official drop? Yes, he gave it to who kid? You, it ain't an official drop, nigga. Did you, did you not hear the words? Like, what, what you oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, yeah, cause he, he not, he not the, uh, it's, it's not all record really. Cause it's a leak. Bro, cause it ain't record. no Apple Music. I don't think Charles yeah, Dunn was on was on streaming platform because you can say any you can because that that's why they could still have that argument. It was. AI and it was. Uh, <laughs> Charles Dunn. See, that's how. Why that's, that's keep why saying AI, AI though. Why y'all keep saying I, AI? What's I'm up with that saying, shit, I'm man? I'm not saying AI, but I, I don't know. I mean, these dumbass niggas been saying that. Fuck, are you talking about AI, bro? Like, fuck are you? Stupid ass nigga. Because it's not. Yeah, you can obviously tell that shit's not AI though. Because it's not what. Be just because it's not an official drop, but this I guy's a way. fucking it idiot. Is it, 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 it's still sad. <laughs> it's not an official drop. No, I know that's Why a Put this nigga in the switch, bro. Yeah, I know y'all talking about Put this nigga in the switch, bro. Put this nigga in the backwood, like I don't want to hear this nigga. He Why crazy. these niggas always do? Come on, chill out. It ain't that serious, nigga. I've, you know, I didn't think it was an official drop. I didn't know Doctor Who kid had dropped it. Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Somebody slapped this shit out of this nigga. I'm with his fucking head. I don't know who the fuck that nigga is. You don't know who the fuck he is. Doctor Who? I don't know who the fuck he is. Man, you got court. Mute up, Kobe. I don't nigga. The art that that nigga keep talking, he gonna have a seven. You don't know who the fuck he is. That nigga like, said Dr. Who kid. 20 niggas jumped off the mic. That nigga said, who? Yeah, I didn't know the Dr. Who kid had it. <laughs> it should have been Polly niggas. He was about to call all of us dick nigga. riders. He was about to call all you hear everybody. We was about to call. He was about to call all of us dick riders right now. Do you hear what he was about to say? Hey Brock, do you hear that shit? He was about to say right before he said he's. I mean, all you guys is. Uh, uh, he's got stumbled up, man. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You better catch <laughs> yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This nigga drunk. Yeah. Y'all but nigga get the kick pushing much, your way. Nigga, calm down. It ain't that Better serious, nigga. Kick back, nigga. Cause calm we do kick down. push. So, so, so you <laughs> mad? Cause so, Kobe, when you think that uh, Andre three thousand gonna respond? I know that's more your lane. Andre three thousand, like you know, what I'm saying the flute and shit like that. What you? What you? Thirty think, years from now, bro, he gonna respond in thirty years and shit. We're not finna do that, nigga. <laughs> Let's get back to this. He waiting on Lil B to respond. Oh, uh, Lil B, I should have used Lil B. You like Lil B, my bad. Hey, how you guys like, like that Rick, Rick Ross response? How was that to you guys, though? How was it? Like, whack. Would you did you feel that one? Yeah, ask whack, because I'm biased. I don't really take Ross serious in all this shit. I don't even think he got the voice and delivery. He should just stay out of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just said. Yeah, oh. it's like it's like a fat dude trying to run a hundred yard dash. Like, <laughs> like y'all need it. You know, we gave the shot foot, javelin and shit. That <laughs> uh, we tripping. The flying like, hammer toss. <laughs> like he out there, he's running, and we see him, and it's they got standing, and but it's just not. We know he's just not gonna get. Wait, bird <laughs> took. <laughs> this nigga wearing spandex with his big ass. If you don't get off the bus. Yeah, like hell. <laughs> the Meek Mill better not get his ass on Twitter. Meek Mill, you know he likes to jump in the shit. You know he don't. He better shut up. He got a, Meek better not say nothing. Meek better go. Hey, that Tronics network. That Tronics network getting crazy, though. Know? I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm I'm working on a, a a show idea. I'm finna pitch to you soon, whack. I've been writing it out with Chat GPT and shit. So we finna get it all the way right. And I'm about to yeah, to but what we idea. trying to understand, nigga, is uh, why you didn't tell me F gang used to date in high school, nigga. Man, no, I told you to keep that shit between us, though, bro. Like that's you didn't have to bring that shit to the motherfucking flow, bro. You got that? bro. That shit. Hey, whack. It had the little shag. He had the shag. Oh boy, whack. Lane Ross, he said he better just stay out of it. He don't got the delivery. He don't take him serious. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate the support. Everybody tuning in to the platform. Please keep that notification bell turned on at all times so you don't miss out on no premium content as your boy will deliver 24 seven around the clock. But for the most part, some great entertainment. Uh, everybody loves to see a great battle, rap battle, back and forth. You know what I mean? Competition. This is hip hop, right? Ain't nobody about to be pulling up, sliding, spinning the block, doing none of that. They just gonna put it on wax, and there it go. Everybody's cool. Everybody's gonna get a bag, and the people are gonna be entertained. Now, as far as Kendrick, I hope that he responds fast, quick, immediately. Because everybody's waiting. Strike while the iron is hot. Is the point. Now, to the people, keep your best foot forward. Make the most of your 24 hours. Stay down until you come up. Put some hustle behind that muscle and get to it. You looking for a bag, it's out there waiting. Just go grab that. It ain't gonna happen overnight. You will have to grit and grind. And when rough days come, weather the storm, and just keep pushing. You feel me? But other than that, man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Until next time, it's your boy Ray Given. I'm gone. God bless. Peace. Thanks for watching another reaction video. I'm out.